I don't know if this video will go through okay. I don't know. I may, I may get interrupted by somebody. Hi, how you doing there? Oh, life extension. Somebody wanted me to talk about life extension. Will I get interrupted in the next 15 minutes? Talking about life extension. Well, number one, I never joined into society. I didn't want to. I don't drive. I can use a credit card, barely. Um, it's a very long story, a very strange story. I'm a, how do you describe it? A nutcase, a scrapyard maniac. I like vintage, I like building vintage, I like repairing, restoration of things on my own. I flipped my coloring book and blocks. I never went to school, I never wanted to. And well, let's see. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, interesting topic, this thing. Well, nice extension. Interests me ever since as a little guy. I need to put you over here. Flat work. Life extension. I know it's somewhere. Life extension. Stay there. I don't know. Got kind of interested when I'm reading about it in my dad's encyclopedia, Collier's Encyclopedia. He was branch manager for Western Canada and had a massive library. As a kid, I used to read the books and read it. Came across a Romanian formula: cocaine amide, PABA, pro vitamin five breaks up. Fascinated by it. I also, um, that interested me and stuck in my mind, and it sort of got me into taking vitamins, doing research on vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and other things in lifestyle. So later on, there was a book published by Dirk Pearson and Sandy Shaw, Life Extension, The Practical Scientific Approach. Okay. I think that was in the early 80s, and that intrigued me so much that I bought a book and studied it and got as many supplements as I could and started eating them, and I do it to this day. A lot of supplements. However, I do smoke. I understand if you take L-cysteine, PABA Pro Vitamin 5, it helps in the damage caused by this bad habit. Uh, being agoraphobic, um, limited my involvement in society. However, I had a lot of encounters with folks, women, and others. <laughs> Where do you go with something like life extension? Stem cell excitation. Uh, when I was living in Munich, Germany, I encountered that through a doctor who got rid of my arthritis in my hip. Stinging nettle injections, if you can find any information and in any doctor, that'd be cool. Because I'm looking for the, the, these kind of doctors for other folks. Um, I noticed certain things when experimenting on myself. Causing a slight irritation of skin will repair and create stem cells, I believe. My doctor said I'm a late bloomer. Um, I don't, I understand psychology, psychology today, studied that as a kid. Keeping a peaceful mind, non-hateful mind, not getting, I just didn't get involved in anything really um that's hard to, to categorize in that well i never wanted to fit into anything games football games politics to me is stupid i see things more kind of advanced i guess they call it it's hard to describe that too did we come from the sun are we just atoms from the sun oh time was a great catalyst to create everything I'm not religious. I understand that religion is kind of a thing that's used by people that fear death and all that stuff, and it's a control mechanism for others. So, yeah, I did get a request on life extension. Lots of hot sex. I'm highly sexual. I'm don't, not into being a, a, an aggressive male person type personality. I'm not into that headspace. As you can tell, I, I like my feminine side and I express it. 
I could get, I don't care what, you know, I understand the mechanics of why people react to certain things. So I have fun on Facebook a lot by putting things there and see the reactions from people and all that. So it's kind of fun. Um, your little hottie needs love and a good spanking. So that, it's, it's, I don't know, Facebook's like uh, the Sunday comics. You doodle with them, you can take it or leave it. Draw um, stuff with a pen all over the cartoons or something like that. It's just something, because I, I like real life adventures better than internet stuff. Oh, man, making videos is kind of fun. I do it and then upload it, forget about it basically. For those into Life Extension, I'd recommend uh, www.lifeextension.org. Study what they do, as well as um, certain doctors like Dr. Daniel Beelan, if you want to study that. Other phys physicians in the United States and around the world. Um, it's, it's just a matter of and also eating the right food. I never was in the junk food because junk food would make me sick. Something like McDonald's and that, I just, bleh. Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I, I didn't really like that. I ate very simple. Living alone, I, what was that clicking sound? Live it. Is this thing working? Hmm. Living alone, I ate brand, uh, brand muffins and tuna. My good friend, when living in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada, was Dr. Danny and Lee Severine, who are health food folks, sold vitamins that are into life extension. 1990 up to when I went traveling. A lot of years. So, I don't know. Smoking cigarettes, interesting. Yes, I was in a, um, not an outhouse, but Riverview Hospital, Essendale, for 13 months, okay? I actually enjoyed it. It was quite the adventure. I was allowed to have a gun collection there. Yes, I did. A2 Ward, West Lawn Building. A1 Ward, West Lawn Building. That's up and down. And I had a radio collection there, too. You want us? <laughs> don't believe me? Okay, don't ask my lawyer. R. Flynn Marr. Dr. Slichter, Dr. Alice Kramer, Constable Burke Bank of the RCMP, dozens of others I can name and prove it. So, um, being outrageously insane was not in the categorizing category of people owning firearms by the RCMP of Canada and others. Firearms acquisition certificate, I had a number of those. I had um, one of the biggest machine gun collections on the west coast of Canada. So in regards to that area, that falls more into uh, psychosis, psychotic behavior, psychopathic behavior, um, depression, psychoneurotic stuff. Um, mm, meaning that uh, sometimes people get on to take prescription drugs for depression and it causes them to go insane. That's why you get the school shooting kids that put on drugs and they go ballistic and go nuts. I've seen people being nuts, so nothing to do with guns and that. It's just a mental illness created by um, drugs and all that weird and crazy stuff. So I'm going around in circles here on this life extension story. So anyway. Uh, Good exercise. I've always been very physically active. I worked on four warships, took them apart. That was a lot of physical activity. I also worked for the Ecology Center, worked for um, helping out at Riverview as a janitor. Um, I don't drive a car, I never will. I don't want to. I don't, what to me is alien to me. I'm always walking, I'm always hiking, I'm doing physical stuff. I won't get stressed out. Nah. I see all the people came to see me. When I was doing my work with anti-gravity, if you want to call it that, I don't think it's the proper terminology for it, but it was just a weird effect caused by vintage machines I was playing with, and the side effect was these weird effects that people got interested in, somehow word leaked out, and people started coming around trying to promote it and all that stuff, and they would come down and found it or whatever, and 
TV shows were fun. Some of the scientists um, wanted to sponsor me and do all the secret squirrel stuff. I'm not into the headspace because I like my sex. I like going to the scrapyards. I like my other interests. So I'm going to 9 to 5 in a place in Toronto, Canada. No, thank you. No, 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 no. No. Money, I would always get money from um, people that had an interest for me to build something for them, like a free energy device, which I did do and delivered them. Because I understand all this junky stuff. Okay? Also, I got a pension from the government of Canada. Disability pension. So, that's kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, back to vitamins, minerals, herbs. Enzymes are very important. You got to take your enzymes, you got to take your herbs, um, vitamins, and you got to make sure that uh, you check in with your doctor, get blood tests, to make sure that you're not out of balance or something and causing problems for yourself. Okay? That's one of the things. So, A, D, all the Bs, L arginine creates nitrous oxide. Take it with vitamin B6. Um, and being, uh, I guess you call it narcissistic or feminine or something, I like to keep well-toned, active. I'm hy hyperactively sexually is one of my greatest things. I've always been that way. Um, <laughs> it's on my mind all the time. I can switch it over to creative energy. That means creative energy, filing stuff, cutting stuff, moving stuff, building stuff. But I'm hypersexual and kinky as well. So there you go. Now you know the secret. Had a lot of a lot of partners. Wow. Got a good partner now. And another one's before that too. Yeah, um, no, I, I don't want to be transgender. I like being kind of a sissy boy type, lady boy type character. I guess you call it that. I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. Um, wow, interesting, huh? I've always been that way. I took some tests, uh, online tests, and it says I could be possible transgender or androgenic. So, it's actually, I'm not that aggressive. I prefer somebody being aggressive. But anyway, this is getting off topic, going in all different whirly things, so. That's my little story on life extension the practical scientific approach so we bring in Carla I gotta get dressed up as Carla and do a video for everybody I like dressing up I feel a raven out there is yakking at me wanting me to go out and feed him again oh dear you guys are funny oh my goodness okay I'm gonna shut up your little hottie's gonna shut up for now, but that's my little spiel on life extension. Also, a friend of mine who did videos on me, I always like doing the videos for him, Near Death YouTube channel. He had some problems with the stalkers. I'm trying to figure that one out. Stalkers, if you go to Psychology Today and look up trolls, psychological profile of trolls, you'll find out what they really are. So don't be bothered by trolls or all that stuff. Too many conspiracy theories out there. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and go now. Take care. Bye.